Hey guys, what's going on? Aaron Bennett here. In today's crypto news, we are going to talk about Coinbase offering a very huge severance package to people who don't agree with their mission, which I actually agree with. The next story is about the CEO of Twitter, Jack Dorsey, saying that Bitcoin and blockchain will fuel the financial freedom and transform future of content delivery. So we're going to dive into that story too. The next story, an early XRP investor who rode a 50,000% rally explains how to find crypto assets with parabolic potential. The fourth story, the bulls have won. Bitcoin whale clusters suggest Bitcoin trend reversal. And the fifth story, there's only two and a half million Bitcoin left to mine. What does this mean for Bitcoin? Can we expect more scarcity? And before I get into those stories, I want to talk to you about eToro. eToro is a platform to buy, hold, and sell crypto. It's actually really easy. And I have a referral link that I got that's giving people $50 in Bitcoin when they use my link, which will be in the description below. $50 in Bitcoin once you deposit $100, and I think you have to leave it there for 30 days, which is an insane referral. So you're going to get $50 in Bitcoin once you create an account with my referral link, buy $100 of any crypto. It actually does not need to be Bitcoin, and then keep it there for 30 days. Day. So use that link below if you'd like $50 in Bitcoin. So the first story, the CEO of Coinbase, Brian Armstrong, is sending his employees a long letter telling them to get in line with the new company culture shift, offering those unwilling to do so a generous separation package, which I actually like just from like a company perspective. The package includes four months of severance for employees who have been at the exchange less than three years and six months for longer term employees. So he's basically saying, hey, if you don't agree with us, you know, politically, we're going to pay you a nice severance package to leave on our behalf, which I think is a very cool thing to do. The next story talking about Jack Dorsey and the future of financial freedom and blockchain. So Jack says that Bitcoin and blockchain technology will usher in a movement that will transform the internet we know today into what it was originally intended to be. He spoke of the important role that Bitcoin and blockchain tech share in transforming the internet into a decentralized platform where content can exist permanently. In the early days, the internet was actually more decentralized, he said, but decentralization meant that content discovery was more difficult. He said what's difficult about decentralization was actually discovery finding content and finding people that would be like-minded. And that's what Google represents. It's centralizing the discovery problem. It's what Facebook represents, centralizing a discovery problem. Same with Twitter. He said that a lot of our value in the past was around content hosting. So we would host the tweets, we'd host the images, we'd host the videos. Blockchain and Bitcoin point to a future and point to a world where content exists forever, where it's permanent, where it doesn't go away. Dorsey says that Twitter will have to make a pivot as he sees a future that will no longer engage in content hosting activities. He says that anyone in the world can make decisions around in terms of their engagement, in terms of what they own, in terms of what they see, in terms of what they share. So, I mean, me personally, my opinion on this, guys, I love this news. I think that the internet you know, is so freaking censored now. And no one can argue that it is just censored up the up the bum. And uh, having the CEO of Twitter, having Jack talk about decentralized information, I absolutely love. I mean, that's part of why I'm such a big fan and talk about unstoppable domains is because this is a website where you can put up your own website, and it cannot be taken down. It is on the blockchain and, and it can't be censored. And I'm a big fan of uncensorability, right? I'm a big fan of not being shut down, silenced or canceled in this ridiculous cancel culture we live in. So if you want a piece of real estate that can't be taken down ever, you can put up whatever you want, get a domain, get another domain, get a couple domains for your kids, for your parents, for your friends. And uh, let's create a world where things aren't just censored and taken down. And there is a link below to that. So if you do want to get a domain, please use the link. It really helps me and the station grow. An early XRP investor who rode this monstrous $50,000 rally shares how to find the next crypto assets with such parabolic 
potential. He goes by Bitlord and he reminisces about the beginning stages of XRP's rise and how everyone doubted the asset before its first big breakout. When he first paid attention to it, he says the crypto asset was valued at $0.008, ahead of a 50,000% price increase that brought the coin to its all-time high of $3.84. He also nabbed a front row seat in Polkadot and Kusama. And he says the process mirrors his strategy with XRP and exemplifies what traders should do to find promising investments early on. He says, when it comes to trading, this year is a really good example. I waited nearly the whole year for a trade. I was waiting for the next macro trend, the next big thing. That's how I've tried to focus on trading is finding these macro trends, invest in the market leaders and invest in the smaller subsidiaries. Let the market carry it. It's going to do all the work for you. You literally just need to buy and hold. I was looking for like a blue chip, something I could trust. I could really back and go solid on something like Ethereum. It has the support. It has the infrastructure. It has the developers. It has all of the right money in the right places. And that that's when something like Polkadot and Kusama jumped up on my radar. I got a lot of close friends on that thing and we just smashed a 10x on that. Although he was once a big XRP bull, he has since questioned the future of XRP and started a petition asking Ripple to stop selling its XRP holdings. So that's very interesting. So let me know what you think in the comments, guys. If you had to pick one or two smaller cap cryptos, what are you most bullish on that you wish, obviously you wish could do a 10, 100x gain, but tell me in the comments below, what is your next Kusama or Polkadot or XRP? Something that you are invested in, that you are hoping, and not just hope, but you actually predict, and you actually think based on their fundamentals and based on the leadership and based on everything they're doing, that it is going to have a massive, massive rise. Let me know what you think in the comments. And now let's head over to Bitcoin. So Bitcoin whale clusters show the 10,407 level has turned into a strong support area, raising the chance of a renewed bullish uptrend. Whale clusters form when large investors accumulate Bitcoin and do not spend or move their holdings for significant periods of time. This typically indicates that whales expect Bitcoin price to increase in the near term. Whale map identifies 10,407, 10,570, and 10,667 as whale clusters. In the short term, the three levels are likely to serve as potential support areas if Bitcoin remains above 10,700. The Bitcoin market sentiment is turning optimistic. Bitcoin can remain in a bullish trend as long as it defends the $10,407 price. It feels Feels like the bulls have won. Many supports below at 10,407 and 10,570 and volume profile support at 10,500 should not be going below 10,407 to stay bullish. Bitcoin will decouple from traditional markets soon. One trader, Edward Mora, believes that the market has to move above 10,830 to confirm a bullish continuation. And as always, take everything with a grain of salt, dollar cost average if you're still acquiring positions, and ultimately just hodl. If you're not a swing trader or a day trader, all we're doing is acquiring positions in great companies and hodling. And that's what I'm doing. You know, that's why I keep a lot of my crypto on Celsius wallet and uh, crypto.com for CRO coin. And I'm just earning interest while the price of crypto does its thing. In the last story, only two and a half million Bitcoin are left to mine. The Bitcoin network already passed the 18.5 million Bitcoin mark in circulation. This means there's less than 2.5 million Bitcoin left or about 11.9% of the total Bitcoin to be generated. Chart BTC pointed out half of the remaining two and a half million Bitcoin will be mined in the next four years. But the last Bitcoin is not expected expected to be mined until 2140. No new Bitcoin can be mined after that. So we had the third halving in May of this year, and the fourth halving is going to be in four years from now in 2024. The fifth halving is going to be four years after that in 2028. Since early 2020, the institutional demand for Bitcoin has been steadily increasing. New data showed that institutional investors intend to increase their Bitcoin allocations regardless of short-term dips in price. Through its investment in MicroStrategy, the world's largest sovereign wealth Wealth fund now owns 577.6 Bitcoin. All right, so let's take a look at CoinGecko, see what's going on with the prices. We have Bitcoin hovering at $733, well, I should say $10,733. 
Let's look at the winners for the last 24 hours. We have Zalika up 16%, Energy Web Token up 14.5%, Theta Network up 10.6%, Cosmos up 9.4%, Ren up 7.5%. Looking at the losers for the last day, Thorchain down 11.7%, Uma down 8.7%, Yearn Finance has been going nutty. It's been going absolutely crazy. It's down 8.5% today. OMG Network is down 5.8%. It was it was up about 30% uh, over the last few days. So it's come back a little bit. And one coin that I just recently took a larger position of is Maker. There's a lot of data showing that Maker could continue to really capture a lot of this DeFi money and continue to go up in price. So just kind of a personal note, I did invest in Maker. Uh, Coinbase makes that very, very easy. If you are a Coinbase member, you can just go ahead and buy Maker there. Uh, not financial advice but just letting you know that this is something that I became very, very more excited about and bullish on. So before I go, eToro, use the link below to get $50 in Bitcoin when you buy $100 of crypto on the platform. And I appreciate you guys watching. If you're not already subscribed, you may want to do so because I'm going to be doing more giveaways. And the only way to find out about those is going to be on the videos. So I'm going to be launching those on live videos and excited about the latest and the last Daniel Craig uh, 007 movie, No Time to Die. They're already coming out with, uh, you know, gear and luggage and watches and all that stuff. So uh, just kind of a side note, excited for the last uh, James Bond with him. I think that Daniel Craig has been one of the best James Bonds. I mean, maybe Sean Connery it has to always be the best, but I think he was better than Pierce Brosnan personally. So sorry to see him go, but you know, you can't have a 60 year old James Bond anymore, unfortunately. So thanks for watching, guys. Take care and talk with you soon. Bye for now.